Yo, 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 what it do? It's your man Vinny and we deep in the field. So strap up for another edition of Madden 23. Today I'm doing a quick analysis or a quick review, if you will. And I know Madden and EA Sports have been in a lot of fans' doghouse in recent years. <laughs> They've even been in my doghouse a little bit sometimes. And the community has been split on whether they like it or not, whether it's good or not. And eventually, all that stuff just starts to become real negative and just kind of pessimistic. So, don't get me wrong. There have been some things that Madden definitely needed to improve upon. And there were games that I didn't like so much that I didn't even buy them. Madden 2018, 19, it can go on. So, I have to preface this video with that. Leave all the negativity at the door. If you don't like it, and you think Madden is just a terrible franchise, then just don't buy the game. If you do like it, get it. Simple as that. And that's with every product. You know what I'm saying? You're going to like some things about it. You're going to dislike some other things about it. And we can all be critical when we want. Now, that's where this review is coming from. Now, let's be clear. I have griped on Madden for a few years, like I said. I felt like 22 was in the... What like the, the I don't know it was up in the air last year it could be fun at times and other times it just left a bad taste in your mouth with all the bugs the lack of authenticity and just the feeling of more things to be desired but fast forward to Madden 23 and I must say the marketing was impeccable and just the entire rollout this what this year was most I'm going to say this. This was the most I've been excited for Madden in a long time. A very long time. And upon getting the game, downloading the game onto my hard drive, and finally getting into it, I have to say, I immediately felt and saw the difference. So let's go with the good. Right off the bat, the graphics on this game look incredible. And that's not hard because for years, I mean, Madden has always seemed to do well in the graphical department for the most part. But this is a little different. It is a little different. Like this year, it looks very crisp. You can actually see the jerseys moving and folding while the players run. The field and the stadiums look pretty cool. I like... You know what they did with the uh even with the you know the stadium itself and like i said uh, uh the fans i i even like you know how it looks in the stands i also noticed that they tried to get the likeness of a lot more players this year and i still have a bone to pick with them on that front but we're gonna get on that later but overall it just looks very pleasing to the eye very pleasing to the eye and i must say i can't you know i can't take anything away from them in that department now, another thing I noticed was the movement. When it comes to the movement of this game, like when you're running the ball and you're playing defense, I must say that the movement is extraordinary. Like I like the way that they, that you know, you can, uh, I just like the running mechanics, basically. I like the juke moves, the spin moves, the planning of the foot. You know, the way they plant their foot in the ground, it just feels better. It just feels a lot more fluid. Like, you know how last year felt and a lot of years previous than this year? It would just feel like, I don't know, like you were on skates. It just felt real, you know, like you were skating and you just didn't have much control. But this year feels totally different. Now, of course, there are times where, you know, it feels a little bit, wonky and glitchy but hey it's a game and no game i've ever played has been perfect so you know that's that but like i said you know the new running mechanics the juke moves spin moves all that good stuff it's just way more fluid and another thing that's a difference from this year as compared to this uh, or last year it's just um the juke moves man like remember last year you would hit that juke button and it just felt like it felt like it, it was it was useless to a point, you know, because they would just take a side step instead of a real juke, and the defender really wouldn't even have to make an adjustment to make the tackle. 
This year, that's completely different. You know, last year you would have had to have like a, a player with the ankle breaker ability to even make a good move on a defender. This year, if you know what you're doing and you got some stick, then you can make some things happen after the catch, after the run, after you get in the second level of the field, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I also love the modes this year, face of the franchise mode and the new uh, Madden Legacy mode. With the face of the franchise mode, they added a different touch to it than previous years where you create a player and your creative player will come in and league as a rookie. This year, they did away with that and now they have it so your player is in the fifth year of his career and basically on the brink of ending his career because you are on a one year prove it deal. And I just think that it's very fresh. Now, what the hell is going on with the passing here? We're going to get on that later. That's something that I'm going to gripe on. But anyway. Like I was saying, you know, so many times in the NFL, we see different storylines where, you know, there are people who are, you know, in training camp right now who, uh, come on, you got to catch that D-hop. But there are players who need to, uh, what am I doing? I'm going to go for that. All right. But there are players who come into the league. They've been in the league for a little, for a little couple of years. They bounced around, and now you know they're trying to find their footing. They're finding their ground. Well, you know that's what we have here, and it's just a little bit more authentic. You know, it's way better than just the same mundane storyline of a kid coming out of college, joining a team, and blah blah blah. So that gives players the incentive for choosing the right team based on the rep points and the XP that can be gained and a team that has the most need for your player's position and finally if their scheme is a fit or not get to the line baby get to the line we just tested this thing now. Ooh, and they got me for a play a game but anyway now I do plan on starting a face of the franchise on this channel for those of you who are into that kind of thing. So if you have any suggestions on what positions you would like to see or what type of player prototype you would like or enjoy watching and leave that in the comments. And for as far as this uh, Madden Legacy mode, that's a very fun experience. And it's one of those experiences where you get to play with the... Uh, all the special players of the entire Madden and football world. So you got Hall of Famers in there like Deion Sanders, Brett Favre, Lawrence Taylor. You know what I'm saying? You got um, Jerry Rice, Randy Moss. And then you got future Hall of Famers in Tom Brady, Devin Hester, Warren Sapp. I don't know if he's a uh, – he might be a Hall of Famer already. But, yeah, this mode gives you a chance to play with these historic players without the use of Madden Ultimate Team. And I must say it's a great addition. And to be honest, I think it's the first time in years we've been able to play with these players outside of Mutt, which just makes you appreciate the players a lot more and appreciate that the developers decided to put these guys in there for, play, for, for, for you know, your casual Madden players who don't really technically rock with the Mutt mode, like myself. And it's just, you know, hey, I, I enjoy that they put that in there so that you can actually play with these guys because it felt good playing with Deion Sanders catching a pick and taking it back to the crib now if they could just figure out a way to add historic teams in here all together whew, man to be on to something but more on that later now all in all I must say I like the two new modes as well as the franchise which I'll be posting a rebuild video of me rebuilding the commanders very soon and so y'all be on the lookout for that but yeah that's what i like now since this is deep in the field and we like to keep it real i can't or i refuse to only discuss what i like about the game because everything's binary there are things i like and there are things that i truly dislike and that don't sit too well with me First things first, the presentation. Now y'all saw it, but you can just see it in the small glimpse that you got out of this, uh, what I'm showing you guys now. You know, the presentation is just a little lackluster. It's very bland, very vanilla. I see that they added a couple different intros and 
that's not a problem, but come on, EA. Give us some real intros and presentation, man. Because I feel that they could have changed the game and make a lot of people happy if they just took a page out of 2K's book. Show us some players getting off the team bus. Walking through the tunnel towards the locker room. Show us some team captains giving their team or respected positions group a speech before coming out of the tunnel or on the sideline before the game. Show us receivers and quarterbacks warming up, playing pitch and catch. People stretching. Show us a coach getting an interview or a sideline reporter giving us the keys to the game. Keys to victory. You see, these small additions would just add to the experience. Because I don't know about you, but a lot of people, including myself, like to live the entire moment and watch those types of things. I know some people just, you know, they hold A or X and they just skip through that stuff. But players like me, man, I actually like to watch that stuff. Because believe it or not, some people are playing this while eating food. Other players are, you know, <laughs> sitting back and rolling up something dank. They make them feel like money in the bank. And then you got the other players who just like to sit back and feel like they're watching a true presentation on Sunday, Monday, or Thursday. But instead, this just feels a little cheap. A little cheesy. When it comes to those corny photo shoot poses that you got the players doing and the music. and I just feel like it could have been done better. And secondly, on the gameplay hype. I absolutely love the feel and the pace of the game. My only problem. My only gripe. My only problem. And my only gripe. Is they seem to have things a little too unrealistic depending on the difficulty you like to play on. And I'm an all man type of guy. And I notice a very arcade way the defense likes to play, particularly on the defensive line and in the linebacking position. And I'm not necessarily a huge fan of that. Now, <laughs> I've heard of some elite pass rushes, and I've seen many more. But these pass rushes on Man 23... Your Aaron Donalds, your Micah Parsons, your Bosa brothers. These dudes are like Super Saiyan for Goku and Broly had a baby. They just breeze past your O-line and before I can even finish a drop, they're in my quarterback's face. And it's like when it happened the first few times, I was just like, whatever, you know, shame on me. Get rid of the ball quicker. Shame on me. But then it became damn near every play. And don't let a defensive end, tackle, or linebacker with the X Factor trait activate because you can forget about it. No double team will help you. No running back can save you. You can't slide protection. Nothing. You just need to either throw the ball in a second, take the sack, or just forget passing the ball altogether because it's just that bad. So the developers need to find a way to sort of tone that down whenever they roll out the first patch because you know what's coming. EA is notorious for having patches maybe four weeks or two, two months after the game releases. So they definitely should be having a patch soon. That's one thing that they need to shore up. I just felt that it's ridiculous and it kind of takes the fun out of the game. You know? The next one is mostly... A personal preference but I would like more consistency with the new passing system and as you all can see you know and just watching me play this uh, quick little game here uh, sometimes you know don't get me wrong you know they gave you three different passing options I like them a lot you know I like that uh, you know you now have the ability to kind of pinpoint the ball and where you wanted to go that's cool make no mistake about it but sometimes, man, when you're using, I, I believe it's the uh, power and the accuracy option, or basically the one that has like all of them, that ball can sometimes help you. And then it can sometimes just get away from you. And as you all saw, you know, that's the time where it helped me. But 
Other times, man, I can have a wide open guy streaking down the middle for a touchdown or getting ready to cross the uh, the first down marker, and he's wide open, and I'm like, <laughs> bingo. And they be bingo, who? Because you ain't completing nothing. The ball goes either goes to the ground, it goes wide right, wide left, and I'm just left there kind of wanting to pull my hair out. It was very annoying. Very annoying. And, you know, I don't know if they'll fix that. I think it's just personal preference. And who knows? Maybe I, I might just need some more time on it. Maybe I might suck uh, when it comes to that thing a little bit. So, I don't know. That's just more of like a personal preference thing for me. One of the last things I don't like is here we are in 2022 for Man 23. And we still do not have the full customization when it comes to customizing your created players and equipment options. Like literally, outside of the new towel placements and all those good things, you know, being able to kind of just... You know, put the towel in different positions and uh you also got the untucked shirts those things are cool those things are cool don't get me wrong and also you know I, I feel like they got a couple new cleats up in here and they also probably got a couple new helmets but we still don't get the full range of options like your uh nba 2k you know like we still only have two color options when it comes to anything other than white or black when most teams have about maybe three maybe even four color combinations and it's like you know we only have that primary color secondary color no third option and and that's just kind of like bogus and i say that because a lot of teams they'll come out and you know want to you probably want to you know wear your different gloves but everybody's wearing the same thing and it's only because you know they only give you a couple of options to go with. you know we got a couple new gloves in here if i'm not mistaken and uh yeah you know it's just it's just a little a little lackluster i'm not even gonna lie to you and it's just annoying man because how hard can it be why do we only get one type of long sleeve you know why are we still only getting uh you know these tight sleeves and not the true baggy ones now i do realize and, and see as you all can see that they have a little bit more texture to them this year they don't look like the sleeves have been painted on their arms and, and there's even like a little bit of looseness around like the elbow region and all that good stuff and i like that but why do we not have this option and an even baggier style of sleeves. And then don't get me started on the creative player. Like some of these faces, hell, most of these faces have been in the game for years. Probably even since 2013 at their earliest. And they got some of the same jailbird looks, the same messed up hairstyles, with the prison braids. Like, who is this dude? Like, he doesn't look like he plays football at all. But you got guys like that. You got guys over here with the perm plats for the dreadlocks and, and receding hairlines and different things. Like, what in the hell is going on? Like, who's doing those? Those are supposed to be dreadlocks? I don't think so. You know? And, <laughs> and I'm just like, what the hell is this, EA? Give us some customization. We have, give us the same type of uh, uh, customizing options that we have when it comes to building a character's face and building, uh, you know, their entire look. Give us the same thing that you gave us that, on creator uh, or face of the franchise. That's what you want when you're creating a player. And so if you all could do it for face of the franchise, then try to give us that when we're creating a player, you know, just off of that option as well. It makes no sense. Because, and, and one thing I also don't like, you see how this player has dreads and his dreads are hanging and all that good stuff. Well, what doesn't make sense is 
when he puts that helmet on, you all can see the locks are falling in his face. And these locks are, are actually aren't even that bad. He need to get them hit. But they aren't that bad. Now look what happens when he puts that helmet on. He puts the helmet on and immediately the dreads are gone. It look as if he is, he's as bald as Mr. Clean. Clean, nothing falling out the side, nothing down his neck, nothing. You know, and it's just, <laughs> that's unacceptable. And it's just a lack of minor details. And the very last thing, the very, very last thing that I have when it comes to uh, Man 23, we want historic teams. Because it amazes me that NBA 2K has done something for so long, which is accomplished having uh, those historic players on those historic teams without any contract fuse or any problems. Knock on wood. So why can't man do it? Give us a few at the least. Lead them to just, I don't know, the number. Don't even have their names included. Give us number seven. Number 29. Catch my drift. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you have to do, but I'm just saying historic teams would just make the game experience feel a lot more fresh and almost like Madden has more to offer because believe it or not, franchise mode, face of the franchise, and Madden Ultimate Team can get a little old and once you played them enough, you know, you're kind of over those things. And, and it would just be something great to freshen up your experience if you were able to say, you know, go out there with the old Giants teams and, you know, play with Lawrence Taylor and Phil Sims and um, go up against, uh, you know, Troy Aikman and Michael Irvin and those teams with the old school Cowboys. You know, all those different guys, you know. But, hey, that's all I got for you on this Man 23 review. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Have you gotten it? Are you going to get it? Do you like it? Is it everything you wanted out of this franchise? Do you hate it? Talk to me, man. I definitely talk back. And if you enjoyed this video, I assume you do because you stayed this long. So show, show me some love and hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already and tap that bell icon to never miss an NFL or Madden drop. My name is Vinny. We've been deep in the field. And it's been real. See y'all soon.